Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on January the 25th, 2016. The title of the message is Death to Idols. And the Lord Jesus began, My children, I know you are suffering much pain and discomfort in my body. It seems like every which way you turn, there is a roadblock preventing you from moving forward. It seems like every plan you have made lately has not succeeded and this has led to a lot of distress and frustrations. You wonder out aloud whether I hear your prayers, whether I care about how much stress you are under. My brides, you know me, you know I love you with an enduring heart that will not be stopped up. My love for you is ever being poured out daily on all my children. Just because you are going through a time of great distress does not mean that I do not hear your cries. I hear you and I am holding you. Unfortunately for you, some of these trials are ones that you must endure. I am holding you close to my chest and I am holding you down under these trials. They each, every one of them, serve a purpose. What is the purpose, you ask? To clean you of all the dross and refine you under the fire of affliction that in the end you may be as pure as gold, without spot, without blemish. Believe me when I tell you that for quite a few of you, these are my mercies for you, for you are so full of flesh, and I must burn all flesh off you, that what is left behind is worthy of the wedding garments I have prepared for you. You see, my loves, no flesh can enter heaven, no fleshly desires or lusts belong there. These are of this world, and they must be left behind here on earth. I am forcing many of you to abandon your flesh, not because I enjoy seeing you suffer, but because if on the day of rapture you are still fleshly as you are now, I will have to leave you behind. These are my masses to force you to seek me with all your heart, to run to me and to hide in me. I have no desire to leave you behind. Therefore, I must force you to gaze at me without overriding your will. If you desire, you can still harden your heart and stiffen your neck and run to the world for help. I will not and cannot override your will. And if you choose to walk away, I will have to let you go. However, thankfully, many are in dire distress. They have reached the end of themselves and they have cried many bitter tears. They turn from the world and seek refuge in me. I am here. I meet them with open arms and I comfort them. But unless they master their flesh, they will have to remain under my restraining hand. I know you are so tired of your current status, but I must do what is best for you. And if you let me, I will refine you and prepare you for my return. Yes, it will be painful and even at times bitter. But the end result is that on that glorious day, when I return for my bride, I will gladly call you up to myself then all the pain, shame and suffering you have endured will seem like a drop of water in the ocean. It will all be worth it. This is my advice. Stop wriggling under my restraining hand. Be still and know that I am God. Trust me completely, for I know what is good for you and I am preparing you for your eternal home. Let the world ridicule you. Let them throw back their head and laugh at you. In the end, you will have the last laugh. Yes, some of you will suffer losses, especially of those things that you have made gods. Those things that you value more than me will be lost to you. Some will lose houses, cars, jobs, positions of prestige, wealth, and even your reputation. Whatever you have placed on a pedestal, apart from me, will be lost to you. All your idol gods I will destroy and burn in the valley of refuse. You will wail and cry after them. You will beg me to restore them, but I will not do it. Some will be so mad at me, they will run away from me and even curse me bitterly, but still, I will not relent. Material things are irrelevant as compared to the destiny of your souls. I will give you just enough of what you need daily because if I allow you an abundance again, you will be lost to me again. No, I will cut down the altars you have built to self. I will smash them to pieces and burn them all up in the valley of refuse. You will see the smoke of my fury ascend, for I will not have any other God before me. 
I have warned you many times to guard your heart and not to worship the creation of your hands. But you ignored me and turned a deaf ear to me. Therefore, I have decided to take your gods away from you. And I will prove to you that I am all that you need. Nothing and no one else matters. As you learn to put me first once again, as you did at the very beginning, when you got saved, I will be Jehovah Jireh to you. I will supply all your needs, minus the excesses you have made your gods. Though you weep and wail, I will not relent. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts, and my ways are higher than your ways. I see your end from your beginning, and I am determined to rescue you from the deception that had blinded you before. What am I saying, my child? Rest in me, trust in me in the days of scarcity, as well as in the days of plenty. If you do not destroy your idols by yourself, using the sword of my spirit, then I will have to do it for you, my children. I have authority over you, and I can help you change without overriding your will. Destroy your idols and the altars you have built up to self. Destroy them like Gideon destroyed his father's idols, and I will give you the victory to overcome your enemies, just like I did with Gideon. Remember, all these situations you find yourself in, as long as they are not as a result of sin, they are from my hand. Seek me and confirm that the troubles you are going through are from my hands. And if you find confirmation from me that this burden you carry or this yoke you are bearing is from me, then settle down under my restraining hand. Surrender totally to my Holy Spirit and let me complete the work I have begun in you. The end result of it will be a reward of heavenly proportions. You will be one of my brides, and when I return to you on the day of rapture, I will bring you home with me, and then all the stress and strain you have been experiencing will give way to a glorious reward in heaven. Therefore, be still, my child, and know that I am God. The plans I have for you are for good and not for evil, to give you a hope and a future. I love you. I always have, still do, and always will forevermore. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.